it's Midnight Persona here, and I am back with uh, makeup stuff, uh, since I like playing makeup so much. Uh, I recently got an order from Colourpop, and I wanted to try their foundation. And I got one of my favorite, there was a, a palette I've been wanting for a really long time. It's called Mint to Be, because mint green is my favorite color. So I really, really, really wanted to get this palette, and I really wanted to play with it. So I got it finally. Um, so, I am going to do a little bit of a uh, makeup thing, I guess? <laughs> I wouldn't really consider it a tutorial because I'm not really good at tutorials, but I do want to show off the makeup. I also got some white eyeliner for a few projects later, so I'm going to put together some kind of cutesy just mint color look and uh, throw it all together and see what it looks like uh, by trying this foundation too. I'm a little worried that this foundation is going to be a little too light for me, but let's see what happens. Let's hope for the best. So uh, I'm going to start with priming. This is one of my favorite primers. It's called Pores Be Gone Matte Primer by, I don't know, is it First Aid Beauty? This is a primer that I really, really like. It feels really nice on my skin and it really helps me. I tend to break out less when I use it. Let's get right into this, shall we? Let's see how light it is, moment of truth. It is the No Filter Foundation. No Filter Foundation in Dark, so it should be dark 180. I use their little uh, like figure out my foundation for me little thing uh, because I use Fenty and it had it so you can kind of correlate the two. So let's see. Yes, I tend to just plop this right onto my face. It's really liquidy. Oh, hold on. Like it looks too light, but it might oxidize. So, so far, it seems like it might be a little too light, but at the same time, it does seem like it's it's blending really nicely, too. I, and it feels really nice. It doesn't feel like super oily or anything like that. Yes, this does make it messier, but I don't like putting it on my brush because I, tend, I feel like I lose a lot of foundation when it just sinks into the brush or my sponge. So I like to put it on my face directly. I'm sure I'll find a better technique eventually, but in the meantime, actually, oh, it, it's not too dark, or it's not too light. I for sure thought this foundation was going to be way too light for my skin, looking at it from the bottle, but the color match actually did a pretty good job. It might be different in the camera, and it might be different when I take pictures, but from my vision, and looking at it from my mirror, it doesn't look too bad. It might look kind of bad in the camera, but we'll have to let it kind of sit and see how it goes because next thing you know, it might actually be the perfect foundation for all we know. In the meantime, let's just clo close that up. I like that it has a little lock. Along with foundation, I bought some concealer. I don't know if this is the same concealer as I bought before from them. No, it is one shade lighter, but it might still work out. Uh, it's the, it's ColourPop, the No Filter Concealer in Dark 44. And let's just see how it works. So, so for me, the foundation looks fine. It look, it doesn't look too light. It looks like it's it's blending in fine. It might be more of a winter color than it is a summer color, and maybe that's why I was kind of worried, because I'm kind of in in-between right now, since I haven't really left the house, but I have been going outside. But let's see. Maybe this is too much foundation. Probably should have wiped it off. This feels too light, but we'll see what happens. Under the bags and my eyes so that I don't look like I'm dying inside. Well, this concealer looks like Ian's complexion, so I'm not sure if it's matching. So I'm gonna let that sit for a second. Okay, I'm gonna take my sponge, I'm gonna start blending it in. I think it's a little too... It might be a little too light for me. Like, it blends in fine with the foundation. But I feel like it makes me a lot lighter. I 
we'll have to see how the whole thing sets because I feel like I look paler. So this foundation might be used <laughs> for vampire makeup. <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot. I just touched my side of my nose and wiped a good chunk of foundation off. I normally don't use powder. I probably should. But I'm still learning a lot of makeup. So like I've had people tell me I should do a tutorial of stuff. And I'm like, I don't know. Because honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. A lot of this is me still learning and still trying to figure out what I'm doing. I almost forgot about my eyebrows. I'm just going to make bean brows. I'm going to make bean brows. It's been the thing lately. I've shaved my eyebrows down because I don't care. And I like the bean brow style. I have to buy um, this goof proof out eyebrow pencil again because it seems to be running low for me. And it's really nice. I like it. I'll show you in a second. The Goof Proof Eyebrow Pencil from Benefit. It's my favorite eyebrow pencil to use. It, it, I get my eyebrows in a pretty decent shape the way I like them. Uh, sometimes I'm a little finicky because I like to make one side thinner than the other. Now we move on to the good stuff. Meant to be. So with this palette, I'm going to start with Chill Factor. Or is it yeah, I think it's Chill Factor. It's this one. I'm going to start here. I'm just going to add that to the edge. In my crease. In my, in my eyelid. I really like ColourPop. Because they actually show up a lot without having to use primer or anything. I just have to be careful about packing it on or else sometimes it doesn't always turn out right. There, I'm gonna go into Demeth? De Demeth? I don't know. It's hard for me to figure out what the names of these are. Just using the same brush right now. I probably shouldn't, but sometimes I like how it looks when it blends a little bit. I like to put a little bit of primer on so that I can get the sparkle to come out a lot better. So I use NYX Professional Makeup the primer. And I just use this brush. Looks like a paintbrush, basically. And I line my lids with it. And yeah, I'm covering up what I just did, kind of, but I was just a base. I'm just doing it lighter. If I want it brighter colors, I'll do it like, I'll pack it on a lot more. So it looks like the foundation is oxidizing and it's a lot little darker than what it looked like it was going to be, which is good. I do still feel like it's a little pale for me, but it's not terrible, so I'm not going to go to waste. Alright, so it's not the same as you can see. It doesn't always turn out the same, but it's on there and it's good. So next, I go for the sparkle. I need to clean this brush because it's got too much stuff on it. So I will take what looks like minty. <laughs> I get it, minty. And I'm going to put that in the middle. And from there I'll tend to flip my brush over and grab a little bit of a darker sparkle or something. And I think the darkest sparkle is... I don't think there is a darker sparkle. So, well, yeah, there it is, there it is. Okay. Freshman. I'm going to use freshman. One side kind of blend in the lighter with the darker. It's kind of like a grayish mint green. This palette is completely my aesthetic though. And I'm so happy I finally got the chance to get it. I'm gonna go back in with the middle color and place a little bit more because I like to make sure it's really, really bright. Okay, and then, uh, in case you're wondering what I'm tapping it on, I have a little paper towel that'll like wipe the edge on. Just in case I didn't really get the chance to wash my brushes just yet. And just in case there's a little extra on them. So I'm going to take the light sparkle, which is, I want to say this Mojito, Miami or Mojito, I don't know. Oh wait, I put the middle one already down, so actually Get Fresh is probably the one I'm going to use then. Just for the corners. I meant to go back in and use 
mint tea, but I think I ended up using the wrong one, but it's okay, it still looks good. This is why I don't do tutorials, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like, that color looks pretty. Let's put that one on our eyebrows today. I'm using a smaller brush to try to get through the creases. I don't always do this, sometimes I just go ham and use the same brush. But I'm trying to be a little neater today, I guess. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go back in a little with this, uh, what was it? Chill Factor on the edges again. My small little brush again. I wipe it off and put the ice cold underneath my eye. Got a little more color. All right, so the eye pencil that I bought because I was curious is a white eyeliner. So the late eyeliner that I bought from Colourpop is actually a white eyeliner because I was really curious on how it would come off and there's a few characters that I really want to use white eyeliner for and designs and stuff so I really want to see how this looks. So we're going to jump right back in. Let me kind of get some of that fallout off my face. Now this is why some people use powder but I still don't understand the power of powder so one day I'll get there. One day. Like obviously it's over the top because it's different, but I kind of like that. I hope it doesn't like stain it though. Green. This wasn't expensive either. I think it was like 14 or 7 It was between $14 and $7. I don't know. Normally I use face paint for stuff like white eyeliner. But it's nice to have one so I don't have to keep busting out my paints every time I just want a little white eyeliner. But I like it. I like the way that turned out. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of this. It's a jumble eye pencil. It's also from NYX. I tend to use a little, a lot of NYX apparently. Just to fill in the extra. And lashes. So I got lashes. I got lashes from them too. Uh, they're chick falsies. Ooh. I knocked them out. So this is what they look like. Uh, I'm going to try these because I like trying new lashes from different places and I don't really wear a lot of really really long lashes so it's fun to see the different types too. Same problem I have with every pair of lashes I buy. They're so well glued down that you have to like rip them off and then it folds the lash over and makes it... Alrighty, I might have to cut these ones short because of the... Oh my god. Ah! Okay. It's okay. Everything's okay. Everything's fine. It looks kind of good though. It's been a while since I put on a lash like super, super nice. Without messing it up five times. I feel like these lashes might be a little too long for me, but it, you can kind of tell I got glue all over this one because the lashes are all stuck together. Lashes are on. Not too bad. I actually think they're really pretty. This one can be closer to my lash line, but it's fine. Alright. And with that, those are all the products I bought from ColourPop. So I'm just gonna put a little highlighter on and then get dressed and kind of do a finished, this is what everything looks like. So I'll get right back to you guys. This is the final look. Uh, everything that I used in the video is basically ColourPop. Uh, I just really wanted to get the new mint uh, ColourPop palette and I saw a few other things on sale so I grabbed them while I had the opportunity. Then I realized a few day days later they had another sale for freckle-like pins and I'm kind of sad because I wanted those too. Either way, <laughs> this is uh, all ColourPop and I just really wanted to experiment and have fun and you guys were like, some people on Twitter were like, you should do makeup tutorials and I'm like, okay, but I'm bad at it. So hopefully <laughs> this is uh, something interesting and if you guys want more videos like this, let me know. So uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, like the video. If you like me subscribe uh, there's a bell notification in case you want to see all my stuff when I post it and whenever they pop up uh, to keep updated with me so 
once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. Oh, and before I go, I feel like I need to mention this. My husband said I look like a watchdog character. I don't 100% know what that means. Because Why are you calling me out like that? Because I thought it was interesting. And I have never played nor seen anything watchdogs. So I guess now I'm getting into watchdogs because of him. So yeah, after our Assassin's Creed binge, uh, we're gonna go into Watch Dogs. So if I end up doing some kind of random OCs based on Watch Dog, his fault. So once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time and I hope you have a lovely and beautiful day. And remember, you're wonderful, you're beautiful, and you're amazing. So, talk to you guys later. Bye.